Let's get a check of the temperatures right now all across the Tennessee Valley. 92 degrees in Huntsville, 86 in Gunnersville. If you're headed out to Fort Payne for June Jam, which Chris Tatum tells us there's still tickets available for, you're sitting in the upper 80s. And we're looking beautiful all across the valley on the Way 31 Sky Camera Network, powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction. One or two clouds for each one of us, but for the most part, it's just blue skies and sunshine. Take a look at 31 Triple Doppler, completely dry from rain at 528 p.m. And we'll stay that way through the rest of this evening. However, in just 24 hours time, we'll have plenty of rain and some scattered storms in the forecast. As we head through the rest of your Saturday evening, temperatures are going to fall quite quickly for us. By the time we get to 7 p.m., we'll be in the mid 80s and then by 9 p.m., we're in the 70s. So it will be a nice evening to be out and about with those temperatures becoming more mild and moderate as the sun starts to set. However, mild and moderate, not the word for tomorrow's high temperatures. Your Sunday will sit at in the low 90s for us we will be hot and a little bit humid in the afternoon. Not too humid, but we'll get we're getting there. And then by the time we get to late afternoon and early evening, that's when we have those scattered storm chances. Now, before we get to the storms, though, I do want to talk to you about that heat. Now, our projected high temperature tomorrow, 92 degrees at 95 degrees air temperature. We're talking about the concrete sitting at 125 and asphalt sitting at 140 degrees. So quite hot and quite warm. If you are taking the kids, yourself or the dog out for a walk, that's something to be mindful of. And this is the time of year where that starts to be kind of an everyday thing that we need to be thinking about. All right. As we head through the rest of Sunday. We'll be dry in the morning and afternoon with cloud cover coming in just after lunchtime. Around 2 p.m. we'll see some isolated pop-ups and then a little bit closer to dinner time. That's when it becomes more widespread. Now the last several days I've told you that we've had pop-up rain. However, tomorrow there will be thunderstorms embedded. So this is a day that I would plan your Sunday outdoor activities for earlier in the morning or afternoon so that you can be inside while these storms are rolling through. They are not severe, but if, if if you don't want to get soaked at the wrong moment, then I would go ahead and plan things for earlier in the day. We'll keep those rain and storm chances until bedtime and then even a few lingering showers first thing in the morning. This puts us Monday at 7 a.m. when you're heading out the door. Most of us will be dry. One or two of us will still see a touch of rain and then that gets out of the forecast by just after lunchtime. Here's a look at the next several days of the work week. We'll see that isolated drizzle on Monday morning and then some more scattered rain in the evening. And we're not quite at a heat wave. A heat wave is three days in a row of 90 degrees or higher. So we're not quite there, but we're knocking on the door. And that's something that I'll continue to monitor through the next several days. So make sure you check back in with us. All right, I sent out a social media poll and asked exactly how much information you all want in your weather hits about what's happening in the tropics. And the resounding answer was we want all of the information. So here it is for you. We are now at post-tropical cyclone Arlene, which means that this is starting to weaken. It's traveling due east at about 30 miles an hour and it's getting out of our system and even farther and farther away from the U.S. as it travels east and that's what we're looking at for the next few hours or so. Here's a look at your 10 day forecast. Sunday's high temperature will sit in the low 90s. We'll have some isolated afternoon and evening storms and then Monday we're talking about some isolated rain first thing in the morning but then a little more rain and storms late in the afternoon with high temperatures in the upper 80s. We'll keep those warm temperatures to start the work week but then by Thursday because of some storms we're sitting in the mid 80s.